so now so let's see how to reset the system db password sorry ten, system password in the tenant database how to reset how to reset so uh, system user password in tenant tenant database at least system db you are connecting right how to reset how to do the reset option here right so there is a procedure so there is a procedure to reset it here there is a procedure to reset so for this case what we have to do so we have to so database the tenant database must be offline so tenant database so systems database should be offline so it should be online right the first thing is what we have to do so tenant the only tenant only tenant should be tenant tenant should be stopped tenant should be stopped status sir how can we stop only tenant yes it's possible so then once the tenant is stopped here so then log in to the connect to the system db system db in sql console then we can use the command like we can use the command like alter right alter so database database so db name db name what is the db name hdb then system user then password then the password we have to type it here what was the password we have to type the password then we need to execute the query then it will ask that we can execute the query then we can start the we can start the tenant db starting the database is very simple actually right what is the command same command alter system start so database alter system start database then database name db name here right so here for starting all stopping also it's very simple here remember these commands they may ask you sometimes questions like how to stop only tenant database then you have to use this command from here how to start only this one then we can do that one here right so these are the things we have to use it here these are the things we have to so <clears throat> we have to use it in this case here right so then so let's see the let's execute the commands here right so connect to the system db then so execute the so if you want to stop only tenant so then alter system so stop database what is the database sid hdb hdb right so then execute it it will stop only tenant right see here the query is executing here query is executing here you can see it here the query is getting executed which means it will stop only index server means tenant database if you execute the if you go to the hdb adm then if you just type hdb info right so it will stop only the index server it will stop only index server here right it is stopping only index server it will stop it here right so see here it stopped already index server is stopped right index server is stopped yes query is executed the statement is executed here right so we got the data the statement is successfully executed so which means system db is stopped sorry tenant is stopped here so then what is the next step here so then use the alter database database name and password right so then here so you can use the command db name is like a hdb right then system user password password is something like i am putting like welcome one okay so welcome one click on the execute button
the query is still executing. Ravi, yes. In your case, where is this Linux installed? Linux is installed. Linux is installed on a separate VM. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. So, uh, is that a GUI level? Uh, yeah, not the GUI machines? level. It's not the GUI. So, it's not in the command prompt only. Linux, GUI level, Ubuntu, those things we can install it. Red Hat Linux, those things GUI level. So, but it's not this the. Linux server edition for the uh, SAP applications. So, so yeah, but it, you're using the um, Suzy Linux in the, the CLI mode, right? Yeah, command like yes, CLI mode. This is the Red Hat Linux. So it executed. It executed here. So then what I can do? Alter system. Alter system. So then start database. So database name, we can use it. Alter system, start database. Alter system, start database, database name here. Alter system, start database, database name I am using. So then, so but see here, so there is a syntax is missing here, right? Alter system, start. Alter system, alter system. So I mentioned, I, I just to so ignore the syntax. That's alter system, database, database name. then SID, right? So here, database, database, SID, alter system, database, database name, alter, wrong, wrong query. Alter system and uh, start and then database. Yeah, yeah. Right, it is executing now. It's executed. So database got started now. So ten hundred eighty database is getting started now. Let's see the index server now. <coughs> right, index server got created now. You can see index server, access engine, both are created. In the previous screen, nothing is there. Now it's created. Now it's created. So which means index server is started now. So let's try to so set the password now here. Okay. So here. Just click on the add, then zero zero the multi container. So it is a HDB. So then system password, same password. Huh? No, welcome. Now I will set the password. Let's see it will take it or not. So it is yeah. asking the new password. Right, it's the same password, 2024. Okay, so now we add it. So this is the way we can reset the, we can reset the tenant DB password. So system password in tenant DB. Suppose, suppose if, Suppose what happens here, so in case of same, this password is expired, right? Suppose like in case of system DB, system password is ex system user password expired in the system DB. If it's tenant is expired, we can reset from, so system DB level. Using the system DB, we can reset it. But system DB also expired, means you are unable to log in. In that case, in that case, so we have to so do it from the operating system level operating system level we have to do it here right so what we have to do it here so just to uh, stop the database entire database why because you are unable to connect using the system db or tenant db you are unable to connect it here right if you are unable to connect it from anywhere like system db 
AuthentityDB using the system password. In that case, just stop the entire database. These are the logical questions. They may ask you how to stop only tenant. Uh, I don't want to stop the system DB. Okay. How to reset the system password in tenant DB. Right. Yes. Using the system DB, we can reset it. Here. So, but system DB also expired. When you use the HDB stop, system DB, the tenants, all the tenants will be down. Right. All the tenants will be down. In that case, so the, the, the that is not the case. Your question interviewer asking the question is like how to stop only tenant DB. Alter system stop database database name. Right. Simple command. Right. So here, so in case, in case here, so we want to reset the so system DB system password in system DB. In that case go to the exe folder cd exe folder here right so there is a command there is a command we have to execute it here the hdb the name server hdb name server iphone reset reset users system i said reset so user system this is the command we have to execute it here Command we have to execute it here. So it will ask the please in the OS level, operating system level. So we have to do it here. Operating system level, we have to do it all those things here, right? We have to do the operating system level. So all those things. See here, it is asking the new password, right? New password. Then let me set the same password I am setting, but I don't think it will, it will take it or not. Yeah, but could not apply the password. Why? Because same password we cannot set. So why? Because the maximum number of old attempts are the so zero fire. So we cannot set it out. What I can do? I can change it back to the one step back, one year back. Okay. So 2023. Right. So then it's done. Activating the system. User done. Password is accepted. Then so see here password is changing now. Now what you can do? You can start the database. Simple, simple command. You can see how much it is very simple. Like just one command. One command it is asked. One command, right? So go to the CD exe, exe folder. Just to use the reset user system. Simple one command you used it. Then after some time it is asked the resetting the user password and everything. It is done. Right? So this is Ravi, from the OS level, tenant DB is also possible to right. reset rather than going into the GUL level. No, that's not possible. Only okay. commands. Yeah, commands only. Anywhere you have to use the commands. Either OS level also you can use the commands, HDB, SQL command form. Then you can use the alter system. Some commands have you have to use it. So that is possible. Yeah, we can possible. Now I command. meant OS level. So we are doing only. system. OS level only, mm -hmm. okay, SQL mm -hmm. prompt, we can connect it. Yeah, we can use it. Mm -hmm. That's possible, that's possible, we can do it. But here for system DB, we are not opening the SQL, uh, we're not connecting to the SQL, right? Where OS level? Yeah. OS level, we can connect it. SQL, uh, HDB, SQL, we can use it, we can connect it. Let me show you. I will show you. OS level also we can connect to the Ana. Uh, no, I know that. But here, now you didn't use for system DB, right? For system DT uh, password reset. System we, DB we, password, we... system DB password, even you are not connecting to the, uh, so if you want to connect to the SQL, SQL console, you need to use the user ID hmm. password. We don't have any user ID password. You are unable to log in. Then that's why, so we can, we are using the, we are using the uh, OS level commands we are using here without connecting to the HDB SQL. 
but if you are connecting if you want to reset so uh, if you want to connect to the hdb sql sql console you need to use the system user or password we have to use it we don't have anything mm. so but tenant db right system db you are able to connect tenant db you are unable to connect due to the password expired or something then in this case mm -hmm. so log in to the os level or uh, hana db level you can log in then open the sql console you can use the this one ah, this is okay yeah this is okay this is fine this system i db understood you cannot connect it system db that's not possible os level mm -hmm. Why? because you are not connecting to the system that's not possible okay So for okay, this is starting right. Okay, system DB started. Yeah, then it started. Right? So it started now. So now we can use the old passwords. So let's see. Let me log out, log off, and log in with the password. Yes, it's connected now. It's connected. So here also HDB SQL prompt also you can connect it. But here you need to have the uh, user ID, system user ID and password is required. So since the system user password is locked, then what is the use of connecting here, right? So it's not required. That's the reason OS level commands we have to use it here. If the password is working, why we have to do it from here? So then we can also do it from the studio level, right? We can connect to the system DB and we can execute the, all those things, right? So that's the reason. So one more thing is here, how to 